world's turning! And I come in that ring to do one thing, and to fight and win! And I'm gonna take back everything that I have ever gave you! I am the greatest manager in the world today! Well, personally, I don't care! What do you think of that? Because this is the only wrestling organization that doesn't make a mockery out of professional wrestling. This event has a 15-minute time limit. Introducing first from Tel Aviv, Israel, weighing 236 pounds, Barry, the star of David Horowitz. And from Santa Monica, California, weighing in at 270 pounds, Sunny Beach. Thank you, George and John Golden Greek Tolis. And we thank you for joining us. We've got a big hour in store. Of course, we've got the big main event matchup coming up later on. Bob Orton and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff for the Southern State Championship belt that Mr. Orton holds. But plenty before that, including this big matchup. Sunny Beach, very popular gentleman here in the UWF taking on a tough customer, Barry Horowitz. Well, also see Vladimir Koloff later on. That was a great entrance by Sunny Beach, jumping over the top rope to get into the ring. I hope that's all, that's not all he knows, because he really has to know a lot to get through this guy, the star of David Horowitz, because I see this Horowitz wrestler, and he's got it, man. He's got it. And I'm going to tell you something, what, Mr. Uh, Beach Boy, I don't think the surfing lessons that you give out in Santa Monica is going to help you one iota. I don't give out any surf. Oh, you're talking about... I'm talking about not you. I'm sick and oh, tired saying about you. I'm tired, sick and tired of talking about you. Sunny Beach has this big crowd behind him. Harry Harwood says, okay, what about me? Let's get this going. Yeah, that's Sunny Beach, baby. Six foot, four inches, 270 pounds. And he's got a finish hold, man, called the wipeout. And there's Horowitz. Horowitz wants the crowd reaction, and he doesn't get any. Of course, except Boots. And Horowitz is looking good. Horowitz is six foot, 222 pounds, and he's from St. Pete, Florida. You know, Florida's got some, I know you live in Florida, but Florida's got some great, great athletes. Believe me, super athletes. You don't have to tell me. They have the uh, national champion football team. You know this Horowitz, 11 years pro, man. 11 years pro, and the guy still looks tremendous. He ain't got too many marks on him, you know, because he wasn't a catcher, baby. He was a pitcher. I didn't know that. Peach going to work on the neck of Barry Horowitz. Sonny has toured Japan. I asked him, what are the beaches like there in Japan? He said they're a little rocky for him. He doesn't like them as much as the eastern and western coasts here in the United States. Good tackle. You wrestled in Japan. Sunny Beach. Yes. I've been to Japan many, many times, and I'll tell you what, I don't particularly care for their food. I don't go for pigeon eggs, and I don't go for raw fish, and I don't go for all those other little things. That's why the Japanese are three foot two inches tall, because they don't know what they eat. You are what you eat. Remember that, folks. You are what you eat. I can't go in these sushi joints. My God, how did they eat that raw fish? You like raw fish? No. Uh, good for you. Do we agree on something, possibly? Look at Sunny Beach here, applying the pressure to Barry Horowitz. Kind of just continue that pressure around the neck and the ear of Horowitz. Almost side suplexed him now, turned around nicely by Sunny Beach. Rolls him back over. Oh, it's trying to turn a negative into a positive. He nearly did right there. Drink responsibly. Get home safely. Guinness, it's alive inside. Step two. And Whatever steps you're taking to impress your partner. Don't let erectile dysfunction get in the way. Viva Viagra! 
Viagra, America's most prescribed ED treatment, can help you enjoy a more satisfying sexual experience. To learn more, take a spin around Viagra.com. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Don't take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Side effects may include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease in vision or hearing. Now's the time to take the lead. Ask your doctor if Viagra is right for you. I'm going to tell you something. These two guys are two fine athletes. I'm going to tell you that right now. They know what they're doing in that ring also. You know, they're up-and-coming stars. You know, this Horowitz has also got six years amateur, so he's no slouch. He's got that amateur ability in him. He also has got 11 years of professional ability. And Yeah, but you see what he just did for every bit of technical skill he has. He's a cheater as well. He'll that's Rip good as long, as long as he's not caught, my friend. Do you cheat a little bit? Tell me something. Really, do you cheat a little bit? Look on your own paper. Let me tell you something. Everybody Look on cheats. your own paper. I'll look at my own paper. And there it says. And you know why? D. George cheats a lot. That's I, your paper. You look on your own paper, pal. You can look in the mirror and smile. That's not what Paul Orndorff and some of these others in the past have done. We shouldn't single out him. We should single out people like, like the Night Stalker. And how about Colonel Red and his? They're my, they're my favorites, my friend. I'm, now I like Orndorff. He finally came to his senses. Orndorff I like, the Night Stalker. How about Kevin the Truth Casey, those guys? Look at that, good. Left by Sunny Beach on Horowitz. He's holding on to that headlock, man. It's like a vice around his head. He's holding on to that headlock. He's got it tight, man. Here's another great match, and the winner has another feather in their cap for whoever wins this one, man. This is just a stepping stone to bigger and better things for the UWF. Good test for both of them, no doubt about that. Shoulder blocked by Sunny Beach, knocks down Horowitz, jumps over him, leapfrog by Horowitz. Oh, he stepped right on his face. Now, there's a great move, a clean move. You're always bragging about how clean his beach is. You call that a clean move? That was a baloney move, man. Why, you? What a rough time. You can't beat him one way, you gotta beat him the other way. Beach going after Horowitz again. Now he's pulling that hair. Referee can't see oh, anything. Right, and Horowitz. Horowitz hits him with a right hand. What a chinlock. <laughs> Those teeth must be shaking now, baby. Horowitz oh. with a good flying elbow. It's red hot in that and ring now, man. And he bats himself on the back. It's red hot in that ring right now. These guys Horowitz with a big right hand. These guys are getting their second win to Georgia and they're going all out. What a great knee lift. A super knee lift. Oh! Horowitz is standing in the face of Sunny Beach and implanting that shoe into his face. And every girl wincing here with every shot to the face of Sunny Beach. Sunny Beach is in trouble now. Maybe he wishes he was back in Santa Monica surfing in that ocean, man. Oh, a fireman's carry. A beautiful amateur and professional move. Super move by that star of David Horowitz. Oh! What a see knee that drop. clever move. He pulled the knee pad down to make sure he hit him flush with his knee, not the pad. And that landed on Sunny Beach. I think Sunny Beach's Adam's apple must be sticking out the back of his neck on that one, baby. You know, that was my big move, the knee drops. And, oh, he turns around, small two, package, uh, kick yeah. out. Whew. What great moves, what great finishing moves. Super. I didn't think they had that move in your day, John. They had them all, baby. In my day, they had them all, and I had Deep it double all. Double underhook takes him over, suplex. A great suplex again. I love suplexes, man, they're great. A roll up, one, two, a kick out by Beach. Horowitz is red hot now, man. He smells victory. There's the abdominal stretch. And he's using the rope. There's a rope for Lakers. can't use the rope. The There's a left the side. The referee on, ain't seen it. He lets it go. There's a painful move, man. All the way up to the leg, to and the he spine. Says he did not use the rope. And under the armpit. Referee got it. He almost was scratching his. What's he doing? He's pulling the rope again. And the ref doesn't see it. And he's Abdominal got. Abdominal stretch, meanwhile, continues to. One, two. Really uh, hurt Sunny Beach. 
It's very hard to get out of that abdominal stretch unless you got a lot of strength. And apparently Sunny Beach showed oh. a lot of strength. And there he goes. So right, our, uh, right, right, in, cameraman, right yeah. into the cameraman. <laughs> He's showing some strength, getting those great close-ups of Sunny Beach. Marwitz with a right hand, training elbow elbows right back. Down. Another elbow, a right elbow right back. Another elbow, another chop to the back. A chop to the chest, into the ropes. Whoa! Oh, what an elbow. elbow, yes. Marwitz into the ropes. Tries to cross body blocker, but no. It's reversed by Beach, you may get him right here, hooks the leg, can't get him. Ah, kick out. Boy, these two guys are showing great quality. I've been great impressed quality, with man. Woo! Yes, great recuperative ability on both sides, just when you think they're out. Just when you think they're finished. Oh, Horowitz, they is, asking, Horowitz is asking for a little time out. But believe me, Beach ain't giving him nothing. Whoa! Flying elbow. elbow! Beach now, possibly trying that wipeout move. No, elbow to the top of the head. Knocks With down Horowitz, one, hooks the two, leg, can't get it. And Horowitz kicks out, asking for timeout now. Now he's begging. Horowitz has enough. He's trying to get out of the ring, but Beach pulls him back in again. Here it is, a paddle car to roll up. Takes a beautiful a one, two, can't and that begins to reverse. One, two, three, and he got him with the tights. He got him with the tights. There's your boy. And Sunny Beach comes up victorious here. He could have went either way. He did go on the tights. I tell you, when the referee ain't looking, who cares? You win anyway when it comes to the UWF. As long as you win. Auto insurance wasn't something I used to get animated about until I switched to insurance. Paul is an actual insurance customer. Here we go, Paul. With competitive rates and quote by print convenience, eSurance makes it easy to save time and money on car insurance. And don't forget, if you ever run into any trouble, special agents are here to help you 24-7. Who knew I could be so drawn to my auto insurance company? Take a fresh look at your auto insurance. Get your quote from eSurance today. Person's losing 41 pounds on Nutrisystem, I'm back in the game. Look alive, Golic. Hey! Get back in the game. Introducing the all-new Nutrisystem Advanced Program, the easy weight loss program that lets you eat great and lose weight. I lost 22 pounds. Start losing weight now and get three weeks of delicious meals absolutely free. Join my team and get back in the game. Call now, 888-694-DIET, and find out how you can get three weeks absolutely free. Tennessee, weighing 245 pounds, Pistol Pays Whatley! Colonel Red is upset in the middle of what else is new. Going after that 
Red, white, and blue. I tell you what. Replica. I think this Colonel Red is a tremendous manager. He knows his stuff. You know, he's a southern boy, my boy. A southern boy. And I tell you what. I think this call-off is going to go right through this Watley like Sherman went through Atlanta, baby. That's what I'm going to say. Now Colonel Red grabbing the public address mic as Watley makes his way toward the apron. Roundhouse right. Another one missed by Carl. Look at Watley going to the midsection. Oh, what a great leap by Watley. And down goes Cole. Yeah. One, two. Almost and he just, away right there. He just got out of that one, man. It was a great move by Bourbon Street. Tremendous move. Vladimir Korlov came here 17 years ago as an exchange student. And he went to college at Oklahoma State as he body slams Watley. And he was a national champion with the Cowboys. Won the title in the Greco as well. He's a hard liner though, and he, like his uncle, well, what's he gonna side some? No, backbreaker. Like his uncle, Ivan Koloff, prefers the old ways. You see, he still wears the hammer and sickle, which stands for absolutely nothing at this point. That was a, what's happened over there. That was a collegiate national Oklahoma State junior Olympic champion. He also was Greco-Roman, and this guy's got it, man. He's vicious, mean, just like his uncle. I think Kolob, Ivan Kolob, I think his whole family's mean, vicious, and, and uh, you know, he, everything goes. Anything you want, baby, they got it. They just take it out of their bag, and they throw it at you, man. Hook, line, and sinker. Davis, this is OnStar. I've received a signal you've been in a crash. I'm contacting emergency services. OnStar reporting a front-end crash on Wakefield Road. Jeff Malibu, airbags deployed, injuries reported. Ma'am, help is on the way. And I'll stay on the line with you till they get there. Automatic crash response, built into OnStar-equipped GM vehicles. A look at him, does bear resemblance to his brother Nikita. These guys don't know the word uncle. If you're going to beat these guys, if you beat one guy, you got to beat the whole family because they all come out of the woodwork, man. you got to beat all the Koloffs, and there must be about nine million Koloffs. Oh, he's got the strap around the neck. Oh, Wadley, where's the referee? Colonel Red is distracting the referee. Now, this is not for him. I Look at Red. He does not say anything to the guy. I think that was a great amateur move by Mr. Koloff. I like moves like that. As I was saying, you know, Koloff, you beat one Koloff. Yeah, amateur move. That was yeah. a great amateur yeah, move the in my eyes. What do you know about that? What do you know about home? I know one thing, this is having a punishing effect on Mr. Best Watt. We talked about Koloff's success at Oklahoma State. He was happy because he just wanted to show that he was better than the American wrestlers there. He did show that. Right now, Pistol Pez Watley has something to show as well. Well, I'll tell you what, Watley's not doing too well. I'll tell you that right now. I think he's just getting overstrength by this Koloff. You know, as I said before, Koloff's the national name in Russia. There's got to be 999,000 million names Koloff, just like Smith and Brown here. So if this Watley beats this Koloff, he's got to deal with 999 million thousand other Russians. You know what I'm talking about? I understand Grandma Koloff is called and wanted to match up with you. Hey, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. You can learn something from everybody. Remember that. And you, sir, are learning a lot from hey, the Golden Greek. And I'm charging you absolutely nothing. Kind of embarrassing if Grandma Koloff tell you to freak out, Mr. Golden Greek. Hey, who knows? I may love that Grandma Koloff. Maybe I'll marry her. They're good cooks, those lessons, you know. I didn't know that. And there's Colonel Red going crazy. What a brain thrust this guy is, man. He's got the brains. He knows what he's doing. He knows every move. He knows every inch of this ring. He's Watley, a great manager. Watley trying to work out of that headlock. Doing a pretty good job against the very strong Russian. Couple of elbows to break free. Comes off the rope. Oh, he's tripped. This Koloff is tough. Look at the legs Big on and this. Powerful. Look at the legs on this Koloff. They're huge. A leg right to the throat. 
This guy's really moving with it. Now he has the rope for leverage. This Koloff's a big, huge man, and he knows his wrestling man. And every he's time Colonel Red talks to the ref, he's pulling all kinds of tricks. Watley trying to get some pressure on the neck and release Koloff. It might work. We'll return to this great match right after these messages. A, he has like a reverse sleeper of sorts, doesn't he? Oh, here comes a little straight now from Watley. Maybe he's getting his second win. Today, I plan on not freaking out about my wireless bill. I plan on saying whatever when my daughter talks for hours. Yeah, I plan on being totally down with calling Denver in the middle of the afternoon, huh? Hollering at my boys, kicking it with three-way calling. I plan on grabbing my celly and getting my... Dad! Oh, sorry. Okay. America's most reliable network introduces a plan with truly unlimited calling. Talk as much as you want with anyone in the U.S. on any network, even landlines, for one flat rate. That's reliability unlimited. Verizon Wireless. Drink responsibly. Get home safely. Guinness, it's alive inside. We're not getting out. We've proven Shell gasoline stops gunky buildup on critical engine parts that low quality discount gasoline can leave behind. Where's the next rest stop? Do you have. No. Go no fish? Look, Shell gasoline stopped gunky buildup, helping your car to perform at its best. So you ready for another 5,000 miles? Yeah. Can we clean up first? <sighs> now clean up the gunk inside your car too with collectible microfiber cleaning cloths. Free with a minimum 10-gallon purchase at Shell. Down! But I'll tell you what, I think Kolop's a little stronger than Bourbon Street Watley. Nobody's got Kolop down now. Oh, right oh. in the eye, man. What a great amateur move by Kolop. What amateur wrestling have you been watching? Him with an open fist to the face. That was a Greco-Roman style move. Mr. Fez Watley trying. Oh! oh! Here he goes again. He didn't do enough damage to the promoter, Herb Abrams. Now he's going to give it to Bourbon Street Watley. And Watley fortunately did not take as much punishment from those shots as Poor Mr. Abrams did last week. He is still recuperating in the hospital. We do want to tell you fans, he is recovering. And with the exception of some stitches and a concussion, we'll see him back here pretty soon, hopefully. Watley back into the corner. Oh! Wind him up, nobody home. Did you see that Russian go down? He went down like a great big oak tree. And here comes Bourbon Street Watley. I like that name. Here he comes, man. Shaking and rolling. Here he comes. Looks like he's got his second win, too. I headbutt. I headbutt on Koloff. And now a couple left. of hands. A left and a right. Oh, what a right by Bourbon Street Watley. He's got Koloff in big trouble. Well, Pistol Fez still had a couple of bullets left, I guess. Now he's on the uh, middle of the rope. He'll get good leverage there as he may hammer away at him now. One, two, there he goes. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at that. Ten right, right to the chin of the Russian. And down he goes like a big oak tree. Bourbon Street while he's coming up. One, two, oh. and the Russian shows his brute strength. Oh, this match is getting wild, boy, and the Greek loves it. Woo, what a match. What good a battle move. back and forth. Woo. Greek. Very good, back and forth. Oh, he's going after Mr. Red. He'd like to get a piece of the colonel. That Colonel Red's all over the ring, all He's over the ring. Pretty quick to run away, though, isn't he, when it's the, an even-up situation? The, make, the makings of a great manager. The makings of a great manager. And there's a great manager. One, two. Oh, Kolob just barely made it. Pretty quick to run away is Colonel Red. Now his man getting the better of the action. Well, I'd like to see somebody just take a shot at Colonel Red. You like to see it, but you'll never see it. Why is he Believe Colonel me. White? He's got a white outfit on. 
Pistol Pez Watley in trouble here against the big Russian. Oh, big roundhouse left that connected to the face of Watley. And I'm surprised that didn't bloody the face. I gotta tell you something, man. Nobody's running out of gas in this one. Oh! Ducked under that one, thank goodness. What a cross body block took him down. Oh, they took him down and over goes one. And the Russian follows him right out of the ring. They're both out of the ring now. They're both hurt. Here comes the count. Three, four, five. They're both slowly getting up now. You're doing much better than you count, though, John. Oh, he's got the chair. And he just cracked him. It didn't do anything. He hit him twice with a chair. It had no effect on Pistol Pez Watley. But those big roundhouse rights did. And we got a bell. Headbutt outside the ring. They're going back and forth outside the ring. They hit the bell once. This thing is over, I think. Everybody's going crazy again. Here come the wrestlers. Koloff is in there. What are these guys doing there? Colonel Red's man Koloff has gotten in the middle of this battle. As we try and get over there and show you exactly what is going on. Somebody else in the middle of things. Who is that? Is that Husker? They're all in there, man. It's a mass confusion. They're all in there. Jeff Husker trying to break it up. The Russian is being pulled away. There's to be a double count out here in a wild matchup from South Carolina. This is going crazy. They're all going nuts now. They're all going wild. There's seven, eight wrestlers out here holding back Bourbon Street, Watley, and Kolob. Everybody's going crazy. They got chairs. Here comes the wild chair into the ring. And there's Colonel Red. Everybody's going wild. What a night of professional wrestling. There, everybody's crazy. There must be a full moon out there, man. There must be a full moon. Wow, the world's turning. They come in that ring to do one thing and to fight and win. And I'm going to take back everything that I have ever gave you. I am the greatest manager in the world today. Well, personally, I don't care. What do you think of that? Because this is the only wrestling organization that doesn't make a mockery out of professional wrestling.